What's the purpose of the law? Well, the law was designed to form Israel as God's people into a people that are, well, into a just and worshiping society. So at the, at the heart of the Torah is the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments that Moses receives on Mount Sinai and then gives to Israel. And the first four commandments are designed to form Israel into a worshiping people. So the first four commandments, no other gods, no idols, keep the holy name holy, keep the sacred day sacred. Then the remaining six are designed to govern how Israel will treat the other neighbor. That is to form Israel into a just society. Honor your parents, don't kill, don't steal, don't commit adultery, don't, don't bear false witness, don't covet. And so the, the law is designed to form Israel into a just and worshiping society. The prophets later come along because Israel much of the time fails to live up to this high and noble calling. And so the prophets are calling Israel back to fidelity and to justice. It's why the prophets really only denounce two things, idolatry and injustice. That is, wrong worship of God, wrong treatment of neighbor. And so the law and the prophets have this design that the people of God might be a worshiping and just society. When Jesus comes and begins his preaching ministry, at the very beginning he says, now don't think that I've come to abolish the law and the prophets. I've not come to abolish, but to fulfill. In other words, what the law and the prophets were trying to achieve, but never actually fully able to accomplish, Jesus says, in the bringing of the kingdom of God, I am going to fulfill that. It's in Jesus Christ that the goal of the law and the dream of the prophets finds its fulfillment. So the transfiguration, Mount Tabor, is the place where the law and the prophets find their true successor. The one that will carry their vision through to completion. Moses and Elijah appear on Mount Tabor to bear their final witness and to hand the project off to the one who will fulfill it. That's the symbol, that's the message of Moses and Elijah with Jesus on the holy mountain.